children in year six have been studying the book Shackleton's Journey by William Grill. It is about an expedition to Antarctica that took place over a hundred years ago. Sit back and enjoy the personal statements and diary entries from Lily, Victoria, Connie and Lucy. I am a self-motivated and determined team player who loves to find adventure. Mature and reliable, brave and professional, I will be a brilliant asset to your team. I will be able to acclimatise in the harsh winters, therefore I could build shelters for the crew without anyone getting injured or harmed. I also have first-hand knowledge of travelling places with cold weather. Furthermore, I have a lot of amazing experience on ships and how to work on them. Forceful, resilient, responsible. Wouldn't you want someone with these skills on board? I am brilliant at fishing and hunting for food. I used to do it a lot when I was young. One of my main skills is engineering, which would come in handy if the ship broke down, because I have been doing it for a while now, which could be really helpful. I can also paint all of the wonderful sights that we see along the expedition as I am an amazing artist. I understand that a profession of sailing is exceptionally intricate and challenging. However, I believe I will make a difference to the crew in an exceptionally good way. Furthermore, I am ready to put in all the time and effort that is crucial to be part of such an incredible expedition. Yours sincerely, Lily. Dear Diary, shocked and surprised, happy and overjoyed, I am going to the Antarctica tomorrow. I told my family about what is happening tomorrow and they gave me a beautiful lucky charm for the journey. I am going to put the lucky charm in my backpack next to the other things I am taking. The things I want to take for the expedition are food, camera, to take photos for evidence, warm clothes, tools and the lucky charm. The journey will be amazing, I hope. I think everyone will enjoy the expedition. From Victoria. Adaptable and approachable, busy and cooperative, being an able seaman will be perfect for me. Resourceful, resilient, responsive, would you pick me for these hard work and skills and qualities? My aspiration has always been to go out on the seas and do my dream job as an able seaman. Whilst working as an impeccable able seaman, I've lately been on the Terra Nova on an unimaginable trip to the Antarctic. My captain on the Terra Nova, happily for me, explained that I was a hard working man with a great future. If you don't pick me, you'll be sorry and you'll struggle to be the best you can. I have a devoted interest in being an able seaman on this grand expedition. I strongly believe that if you don't pick me, you'll never find a seaman like me. I'm a tall, smart man with a neat suit. If you don't think I'm good enough, if you think I won't succeed, if you think you've got someone better, then you're wrong. Without me in your expedition, you will tragically fail. You could have a strong crew, but without your best able seaman, it's certain that you'll fail and your crew will be weak. So hear my words and give me the job, Connie. Dear Diary, this morning was the hardest time ever. I had to say bye to all my wonderful supportive family, who I will adore and treasure in my heart. I told all of my family, friends and locals that I was really excited. Inside, however, I felt nervous and a bit scared. Then it was time to board the ship and set sail. Turns out the crew isn't so bad. I was having lots of fun. If we don't crash, if we survive, if we return unharmed, then I will be relieved. Lucy. Hope you enjoyed listening to the work from the Year 6 children. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. This is me, Jamie, signing off. Have a great day, everyone.